guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today I thought we would just try to get a bunch of stuff done. I have like a bunch of random stuff on my list. And the first thing I gotta do is put away my Walmart little grocery haul. This morning, what I typically do at least once or twice a week is as soon as the kids wake up, I get them, I've already packed breakfast and we head out to Starbucks and we sit there for at least an hour, hour and a half. Maybe sometimes we push two hours and I get like my iced coffee refill. We sit there, we color, we eat their breakfast and then either we go to a park or we go shopping or we just come straight home. It depends on what needs to get done. But today was one of those mornings. So after we were done at Starbucks, I brought the kids, we got gas, and then we went to Walmart and just picked up a couple things. Not like a huge grocery haul, but this was more like Juan wanted a couple things from the store. And so then I just decided, okay, I'll, I'll restock on some of the other items as well. So let me show you what I got. So I'm gonna start with Juan's items. He really likes drinking this type of mineral water or whatever. So I got two of these. They didn't have a different one that he wanted. And then the last time I went to Walmart, I picked up some jerky for him. So. Uh, he really liked this kind, so I decided to pick up two things for him. And then this is my soda of choice, so I stocked up on that, as well as some chicken nuggets for the kids. It's kind of funny, they don't like like dino nuggets, which I think is more expensive, so I'm happy about that. They really like this, and I even really like these chicken nuggets too. They, they're really yummy. I caved and got some sweets for our family, so I got some lemon sandwich cookies. These were on clearance, and I bought two thinking I would give one to one of the homeless people that were outside the store, and then I was going to rip off a banana for them. But as soon as I was driving out, they had left. This happens every time I buy some, something specific for the people that I noticed that are asking for help. So, you know, we just have extra donut holes, which won't go to waste. Then I bought some of these. I, I bought like one pack a while ago to like let the kids try and they devoured them. So I figured I would get two this time. As far as produce goes, I needed to stock up on some fruit. So I got some grapes. And then, like I said, the bananas, uh, I planned on giving away some of them, but oh well. And then I got some iceberg lettuce because I think I'm going to make like a taco bowl or taco salad type thing tonight. So hopefully that will be yummy. The last time I went, they didn't have ground pork because I wanted to make the HelloFresh meal that I made in a previous video, but with the pork this time. So I was happy to see that they had this. And then I've been making like Starbucks grilled cheese dupes lately. And I use this white cheddar, which is really yummy. So I'll probably be making either this for lunch or at least just having this for the upcoming week. And then some of the non-food items, uh, we like our flushable wipes here. So had to stock up on that. And then if you guys have seen any of my cleaning videos, like I never wear gloves, but I've been wanting to start like a deep cleaning series. And I figure my hands will probably appreciate me getting some type of you know, glove. So got this. And then I got this tablecloth, which is the same brand that I have for our table right here. Uh, they're like $4 or a little under $4. I really like how it is like waterproof. So if you spill something, it's easy to clean up. It's very good for kids. It's not the most elegant, but like I said, it's good for kids. And I wasn't sure if it would look better with like this white beige look or if it's just like all black. But, you know, I figured it wouldn't hurt to have another one, especially if the other one gets really dirty. So I'm gonna just quickly put this away and then I'm gonna bring you guys outside. Juan asked me if I could mow the lawn today. Usually we do it once a week. Sometimes it's like on Fridays. I think last week I did it Thursday or Friday, but he has to do some type of like weed thing. He sprinkles something on. So it would just be like really productive if I got it done today and the kids are outside anyways. So it's the perfect time for us all to be out there. So I'm gonna quickly put this stuff away and then let you guys get to watch the lawn get mowed in a time lapse. Shine bright up all night when never slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing
All right, one lawn done. We still have another one to go, but you can see like there's different either developments of grass on our lawn or just different types of grass. Juan planted a couple different plants, but really quick, there's a hummingbird on our tree. It landed. You don't always get to see the hummingbirds land. Oh, there it goes. All right, but let me find a good spot. So I'm really hoping that our grass becomes more of this darker kind of grass. It looks like thinner, softer, like thicker. That is what I'm hoping it looks like eventually, like that the whole thing becomes this dark grass. Right now we got some of these lighter patches, but you know, it works for us. And if you've been here since the beginning, you know that we started with dirt. So this looks a whole lot better than the dirt we started with. But let's go ahead and finish the side yard. Okay, so it's 1230, still want to edge, got to put Bubby to bed soon. But as I was cutting the grass over here, I think my son got to my little onion plant. May it rest in peace. I really, like all of this sprouted from an onion that was in my fridge and I was planning on using it for just like green onions anyways. So, you know, I could probably still use this although i really don't know how long this has been out here <laughs> i think it was just this morning but then i got to looking at my blueberry plant and i noticed a bunch of the flowers up here had been like torn off so i have a feeling yeah there they are down there i have a feeling jack got to them <laughs> i was so excited to have blueberries i was so excited it was so like happy so happy to see them up here but hopefully we'll still get some more blueberries i don't know if these flowers are gonna form into blueberries or not i really don't i don't know how well they've been like pollinated and stuff at least my plant came back to life that is what i'm happy about but maybe having blueberries with a son that loves to destroy things is not the best idea <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go ahead and edge this grass and then put Jack to bed. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it So sorry to leave you hanging on the completeness. I'm not gonna be blowing all this grass like back onto the lawn. I'm gonna let Juan do that when he does his little weed stuff, but um, mainly because it requires different batteries and I don't wanna have to go get all of that right now because it is Jack's nap time, so I gotta get him to sleep. But apparently there's some eggs in here, so gonna get some eggs. So just three so far. Uh, I did see one this morning in the coop, but its shell was not fully complete and it was really flimsy. 
I don't know if that's because, like I've been finding yolks in our nesting box for two days now. And so either one of the chickens is not, like doesn't have enough calcium to form the shells, or it's one of the baby chickens that still hasn't started laying yet. And these are like her first couple of eggs as she's starting to get ready to start laying more. I really don't know. The camera that we have in our nesting box only shows like real time. So I can't go back and see like, did someone crack an egg and start eating it? Cause chickens can start eating their own eggs. You don't want that obviously. Uh, or if it's just one of the chickens needing more calcium, I did put some more egg shells in there so they can eat the shells and get calcium that way. So I'm gonna consider this like I collected four eggs, even though I only have three, you know, edible ones. And if it's a good day lately, we've been getting six. So I'm hoping to get at least two more in our nesting box today. And that would mean like, like a, a relatively good day. If I get three more, then that would be hopeful because that would say, that would tell me maybe like the, the bad eggs, the ones that were lacking shells or had weak shells maybe are from the baby that is just starting to lay. So we're gonna go ahead and put these inside. I'm gonna wash my hands and then kind of grab Jack, get him ready to go. After that long period of getting him down to finally nap, because it's been taking us a while, then I have like craft I need to do. I need to bake a sourdough loaf that I prepared yesterday and a couple other things. So I will check back in soon. Okay, I got Jack down for a nap. He was so cute. Um, I had to give him like a quick bath or kind of like a shower before going down and getting changed because they play outside, he gets sand everywhere, dirt everywhere. It's just not pretty and I don't want his bed being all disgusting. So that's what I did. I think Aubrey's in the garage with our baby chicks. We had hard boiled some eggs last night. So apparently the chicks, either when they're in the egg or just hatched, like they eat the yolk for sustenance. So we hard boiled some eggs last night and I crumbled up the egg yolks cause we really don't eat them. We just kind of eat the egg whites and feed the yolks to the chickens. But I was like, ooh, like let's give these little chicks extra sustenance. So I packed that away, but I don't see it in our fridge anymore. So Aubrey I think is out there. I'm gonna preheat our oven for our sourdough, which I will tend to after I check on the chicks. So let me do that and then you guys will see our eight little babies. Hey there, did you grab the egg yolks? Did you grab the egg yolk? <gasps> did they love it? They all did not peck out when I pulled in, but then the twins are like, what's this? And they picked that and they said, like, thank you. And they all picked that and they, they all falling in like the big chunks. And I got like one of these. Mm -hmm. And I got one of those. Did you get some of them wet? I want them to be refreshing. So this one right here with this the stripes kind of really separate on the head. Had a really poopy butt the other day and I had to give it a little butt bath so that it doesn't get sick and die from, you know, not being able to poop. But apparently Aubrey got them a little wet, which you're not supposed to do. So hopefully they'll dry off in this heat lamp soon. You can see the reflection. Chicken is failing. This one right here is a is a special bird. My heart goes out to her. She's the one with the poopy butt and apparently loves to stare at the wall. 
Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat something right now, probably shower because I'm gross, and then I will check back in to tackle a couple more tasks. So we got about 15 more minutes for the sourdough to finish getting that nice golden brown like crust. So while that is going, I'm gonna go ahead and like sweep mop the floors. I have been meaning on doing this for a couple days now and I just, you know, get caught up doing something else instead. So I got like 15 minutes to do that take the bread out and then I'm gonna shower cause I feel icky. And then hopefully we will still have enough time to get two more tasks done. I am so happy with how this loaf turned out. It's still way too hot to cut. I will actually be gifting this to a friend of mine. So I'm actually waiting to hear back if they want it cut in the first place or if I should just leave it whole and leave it nice and pretty. But the floor is done. Uh, you guys might have saw this flap that kind of came up and it's been bothering me for a while. I just haven't, you know, got around to fixing it or have Juan fix it. You know, it's still pretty sticky and tacky under here. 
I'm gonna try my best to pro probably fix this or come up with a temporary solution during my next little craft. But I still feel kind of icky, so I can always do that craft when Jack is awake. So I'm gonna go shower right now and then break that stuff out. Luckily, he's still sleeping. It's been almost two hours. He's been taking nice long naps in the afternoons, so I'm hoping that it kind of stays that way. But I'm gonna go get clean now, and then I will show you guys the craft I have been meaning to do for like two years, probably. <laughs> All right, so I have showered. I actually made a silly TikTok with my PhD gear. There's a trend, if you're not on TikTok, going around that's like all that work and what did it get me? Why did I do it? And I thought, you know, it's perfect for me who has, I've gone through the, you know, undergrad, master's, PhD program. I'll just become a stay-at-home mom who makes YouTube videos, but I wouldn't have that any other way. No one can take away my education. So anyways, I wanted to do that while it was on my mind and check that off my list. Now I have a bunch of bags, some old rugs from Dollar Tree and two different types of glue. And we are going to make pillows for my mom for her like outdoor seating using this stuff. So let me get it set up and I will describe what we're doing. Okay, so our goal today is to make two of these pillows and I have a bunch of old plastic bags from grocery stores that I've saved up and I just never use quick enough. I never put them in our little um, trash cans, like in the bathrooms, like as much as I thought I would. So I obviously don't need this many bags. So these are gonna be outdoor pillows and instead of using like cotton or fluff or something that I wouldn't want to get all wet and gross, I thought since they're gonna be decorative anyways, might as well just put some plastic bags. And I have one plastic bag totally stuffed and then I'm just gonna kind of like enclose it by putting the top of one, like kind of shoving it in and then do this a couple of times. So, got this. And then I'm just gonna tie a little knot and do this one more time. And while I'm doing this, my hot glue gun is warming up and I plan on using that as well as some E6000, which is like a more permanent glue, but the hot glue will be more for like a temporary hold. So the idea behind this is I have four of these rugs. Um, let's just set this one aside. I'm gonna have my rug here, and then I'm gonna take the other rug, the one that has the side that has like the tag, and I am going to secure this. I have to squeeze out some of the air from the bags. So what I'm gonna be doing is, you know, putting hot glue and E6000, securing this, probably holding it with some clips just to, you know, keep it in place and um, doing that all the way around. This is a no-sew method, but if I wanted to, you could easily sew this. You don't have to use plastic bags for the stuffing, but like I said, this is an outdoor pillow. It's more decorative. And I figured just, you know, plastic on the inside would be Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is secure three sides and then stuff it with my bags. That way, if I realize that this is just a little too big, I can always take some out before finishing off the pillow. Push these together. This bottom rug is slightly smaller, but that's okay. I think it gives a cute little frill. We have our opening here and already it has a pretty strong grip from the hot glue. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, mommy. I think you missed 
going to the hot tub. Oh, it came off. You're right. Let's add some more hot glue. Make sure you do what so it can not fall off anymore, right? Right. It's a good thing I told you, right? Of course. Thank you. So happy that I told you because if that hole was still there, you'd be disappointed, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I think... I think I'm happy with this. I wouldn't want it too stuffed to risk, you know, opening back up. And, you know, it's just a little throw pillow. Has a little bit of cushion, so if someone does lean on it, it'll hopefully be comfy. So I'm just gonna glue up this other side and do the other one. It. You can make it look like a bow if you want. If you wanted to like tie something around it. An easy, what used to be $2 craft. Well, do you think Nanny's gonna like it? Yeah. All right, I'll give it a try too. Give me some candy, Nanny. Do you need that too, Yeah. I'd probably have it a little taller. Or someone could sit on it, right? Yeah, I'm doing it. Pull them. Um, puff them up. Puff them up. <laughs> and then put them for decoration. Put them for decoration. <laughs> All right, well, I think this will be good enough, and my mom has a hot glue gun, so if there's any openings that need to be sealed, it's a quick fix. It's so cozy. <laughs> oh, no fun, no fun. Well, since Bubby is still in his room, we're gonna let these ladies out to free range a bit. I don't usually like having them out when he's out because he'll grab them and hurt them, so just better for everyone if they're out here when he's not here. What do you want to say about the chickies? I love that chicken so much. I know you do. You're such a good chicken mama. Oh, oh, what are you about? Oh. Yes, I know. Our backyard's a disaster. But I'm going to let Juan worry about this when he cleans up and does the weeding stuff. Aubrey, can you be gentle with the chicken? The chicken is so cute! You go. <laughs> I love the chicken! So this craft barely touched any of the extra bags that I have. Like my, I have a man hand and this bag is ginormous. So I might have to make some more of those little pillows. Aubrey was suggesting we make some for us, so you never know. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And while we're in the line of talking about gifts for my parents in some sense, let me show you what we got for my dad. I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this amazing golf storage rack. Now, Juan doesn't golf, but I occasionally hit balls with my dad at the driving range. So when I was given the opportunity to review this item, I jumped at it because it is something that my dad said would be really useful for him to have. Mayfert offers golf organizers that can hold one or two bags, and they come in different colors as well. We were sent a black organizer that can store two golf bags. 
There is also a lower storage space for sports shoes, one golf ball storage rack, three removable hooks, and a side golf club rack. This organizer comes with four wheels that can rotate 360 degrees, two of which can lock to keep your cart in place. This golf storage organizer is made of high quality steel, which keeps the entire golf rack sturdy and stable. Its surface is powder coated to be rust resistant, thus increasing durability. I was really impressed by the quality of the materials and the ease of setting up this organizer. If this product seems like something you or a loved one would like, I will place the product link down below in the description box for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video and blessing me, or really my dad, with this amazing golf storage rack. So I tucked that nice golf cart away uh, just to keep it out of my kids reach so I don't want it to get like ruined or messed up before I give it to my dad but you guys saw I think maybe Jack in the background of some of those clips he finally woke up he slept a very long time I want to say like three and a half hours which means he will have a later night tonight which is okay but I'm gonna go ahead and make my taco salad dinner I'll show you guys a little clip of how it turns out essentially I'm just gonna be chopping up some iceberg lettuce making some taco meat like ground beef cooking that adding taco seasoning and then topping that with cheese uh, sour cream if I had tomatoes I would use that onions whatever so very simple dinner. Uh, that is what I'm gonna be making right now. And then we're just gonna wrap up the night with bath time and normal bedtime routines. And we're waiting for Juan to get home. So it's gonna be a hectic night. It's already kind of getting a little overstimulating for me with the kids in the background. They're not playing outside, they're inside. No bye-bye. No bye-bye. But that is where we are going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. No bye-bye. No he, he doesn't want you guys to leave. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.